It's the OCG Fam Show. Today we're talking about alkalinity, trying to get some clarity on this whole subject as it applies to Nectar for the Gods. Let's get started. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Mm. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? I made a list. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it after the show. But right now we'll have a lot to talk about in the comments after this, I think. Let me know there. We'll talk about it after the show. Right now, let's just get into the show. So, in the previous episode, we were talking about alkalinity. Now, I know some of you kind of done with the alkalinity subject. We're almost done with this, but I want to see it through, and then we will get on to other things. But, I said I didn't quite have a handle on what alkalinity was yet, and I think I misspoke in that I think I've got a pretty good handle on what it is. I just don't know how, as a community of nectar growers, we're going to deal with it because we all have different water sources. So we may be coming at it from different sides of the issue. Very difficult to make a, a system that works for everyone. I think we can, and we'll get into that in the next episode. But right now, what I want to do is make sure we're all on the same page as to what alkalinity is for our purposes as nectar growers, in my opinion, not science, just me giving you my layman's version of it that I think works for us, but let's talk about that too. So your plants, like you, operate within a very narrow pH range where they're happy. They have to be in that range to be big and strong and grow and, uh, and live. If they go out of it to acidic, to alkaline, unhappy, and ultimately wither and die. So the nature of the growing process though, what we do tends to, in most cases, make that pH drop over time in the soil, making it harder to keep your plants happy. Alkalinity is a measure of the parts per million of alkaline, I'm going to say stuff. We're just going to say stuff for this. Alkaline stuff in your water. How much of that stuff is in there? Uh, the alkaline stuff gives the water the ability to resist acidification through everything else that's going on in the soil and all that. So. Uh, I have a video. Let me show you. Come over here. Let me fire this up here. Okay, so uh, right here, YouTube. Hannah Instruments Incorporated. If you go to their channel on YouTube, you're going to find this video. Demonstration, the difference between pH and alkalinity. Uh, acidic or basic. This guy right here. Alkalinity and acidity. And I'll put a link in the comments to that video. Uh, so you can watch it. But what he does in this video is he um, he has two uh, little containers of water. One is just water and the other has, I think it's baking soda, baking powder, baking soda in it. And the first one, he takes a little vinegar and puts it in there and with the pH running and you see the pH drop dramatically in just that regular water. Then he takes the one with the baking soda, baking powder, I, I can't remember which one, it's one or the other, and he starts dropping vinegar in there and it just doesn't move. It barely moves. It takes a ton of vinegar to get it to move because of that alkalinity in the water. And that's what we're talking about. And I think we've talked about that made it pretty clear, but I thought this video was pretty nifty. So that's your homework. I want you to watch that video. I want you to take in what I said here and then let's uh, make sure we're all on the same page as far as what alkalinity is for nectar growers, for our purposes, in our opinion and then we'll move on to how we're gonna deal with it. So that's it for today. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.